Shalom, body of Christ. Today is May 16th, 2024. I pray that you are blessed. I want to start off in prayer. I want to give all of the glory to Father Ahaya, our Mashiach, Holy Yeshaya, and Holy Spirit, Ruach HaKodesh. Amen. Okay, so body of Christ, this is uh, very tasking. What Father has commanded that I come on in obedience is to sound the alarm, to sound the trumpet, okay, of the times that we are in. So uh, let, let me not get ahead of myself with the key of David and by the sound of my voice. I decree and declare Father's hedge of protection over this communication, over everybody tuning into this message today. I cover us in the blood of the Lamb, in holy Yeshua's name and blood. Amen. Okay, so I'm going to try to get through this as quickly as possible, but this is vital. If you are seeking the truth and going by the word, um, then this this will actually be a relief to you because you know where we stand in prophecy um, with respects to Father uh, telling us in advance, foretelling and telling us in advance, disclosing to his prophets what is to come, Right. Again, disclosing to his prophets what is to come, what can we expect. Okay, so being that today is May the 16th, 2024, I do want to uh, just encourage anybody who tunes into this video to please, please go before Heavenly Father and ask for repentance, whether it be you are, you are, um, you are commanded to do that openly to help and assist his children do the same, uh, or if you um, do it in the privacy of your home and just go before the Heavenly Father and render your hearts. Those are words that he gave to me that I have shared in the last couple of days on both Facebook and on YouTube, uh, the podiums that have been assigned to me. So with that being said, this is very, very important that you hear the words as I read them. OK, this is very, very important. I give Father Ahaya all of the glory. And when I um, instruct you and encourage you to do that is because you want to pay attention to detail. OK, um, how it aligns with the word. This is key to know where we are in prophecy so that day will not take us as a thief. OK, we know we are going to be witness to some of these things and we are to remain strong in the word. And this is why, excuse me, this is why um, we need to be able to uh, learn uh, and take these tools that Father has given us to stand in that day and um, just be able to know how to warfare um, and, and get past through this, uh, well, this uh, darkness that is, is coming upon the earth. So um, regarding uh, the today's date, May 16th, we have two days from the time of the sign of Jonah, which was April the 8th, 2024. Um, it is clear that that was the sign of Jonah. Father has confirmed it through numerous of his prophets on the wall. So please take heed. Go into your, uh, your quiet time with Father. Um, approach the throne. Approach the altar. And just repent. It's very, very important that you repent, that you repent, that you forgive to be forgiven. Those are the instructions Father has given. Okay, so we're going to get into this word. This is very important. Okay, so I received my uh, confirmation through a fellow um, sister in Christ, Queen Esther, this morning. Uh, she received this, and also King Pi Blue Flame of Yah also received um a, a Bible scripture when he was uh, taking to his studies this morning about the three days of darkness and it being um, that the sign would be given, right? Okay, so we're going to start off with this. We're going to start off uh, initially this, this, um, this image on your screen, Isaiah chapter 33, verse 4. All of these will are, and um, all of these will edify what Father is having me speak today, okay? Um, this is in regards to the coming three days of darkness, this in association with the locusts, okay? Um, it also has to do with the, um, the sign in the skies, the ribbons in the sky, the 
quote, Northern Lights slash Aurora Borealis. And we'll get into that in a minute. So please bear with me because I have to be thorough on this. You must hear this in its entirety to understand what Father is revealing at this hour. <clears throat> Isaiah chapter 33, verse 4. Your spoil, O nations, is gathered as by locusts. As by locusts. Like a swarm of locusts, men sweep over it. Please bear with me. In Joel chapter 2, verse 25, I will repay you for the years eaten by locusts, the swarming locust, the young locust, the destroying locust, and the devouring locust, my great army that I sent against you. This is a plague. Please pay attention to detail on that scripture if you need to. Please pause this, study the verses, meditate on the verses, and let them marinate in your spirit. Okay, before I bring up this next part, it's vital that I that I go into this particular scripture here, was it, which is, excuse me, the, um, the edifying word that Queen Esther received this morning and she shared with me privately, written in Joel chapter 2. <clears throat> it is titled, An Army of Locusts. Blow the trumpet in Zion. Sound the alarm on my holy hill. Let all who live in the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is coming. It is close at hand, a day of darkness and gloom, a day of clouds and blackness. Please pay close attention because I'm going to go over some uh, prophetic dreams that were given to me years ago, and they will coincide with this scripture in Joel chapter 2. Like dawn spreading across the mountains, a large and mighty army comes such as never was in ancient times, nor ever will be in ages to come. Before them fire devours, behind them a flame blazes. Before them the land is like the Garden of Eden, behind them a desert waste. Nothing escapes them. Okay, I'm going to leave that portion there. Give me just one moment. I'm going to sort of toggle through this. Now, Knowing what I have shared with you just then, I'm going to share this prophetic dream that was given to me. Uh, I entered the dream on May the 26th, 2019. Okay, listen to this. This is 10 days from today's date that I was given this. Okay, I'm going to go over that because it's very, very important that you understand what I'm pointing to. Today is May 16th, 2024. My journal entry was placed on May 26, 2019. <clears throat> Excuse me. Again, let me remind you, brothers and sisters, that the Sovereign Lord does nothing. He does nothing before disclosing it to his prophets. Okay, so I'm going to go over this, this uh, prophetic dream. And it went like this. Good morning, brethren. Hopping on real quick to share a dream Father Ahaya has given me confirmation to share openly. The journal entry was dated 5-26-2019, titled, Sign Before the Great Day of the Lord. I dreamt my youngest son, Emmanuel, God is with us, that's what his name means, and I, having just finished with laundry, our garments, we had seen the sky filled with what looked like ribbons, thus the ribbons in the sky. I have received several Dreams and visions about what we are to expect, the sign of the days of darkness. Okay. The skies were brilliantly illuminated with these different colors. This phenomena was witnessed by all, not by some. Okay. Now, this brings in the question of harp because harp is, as Father said, inducing these electrons to impose, um, how can I say, um, so that they can sort of mimic really what Father says will be our sign, the sign of the days of darkness, right? So three days of darkness. So with that being said, in the dream, it was made clear to me that all would see this, 
Not right now, like I said, where only some people are witnessing these signs. Okay, They will not be able to replicate the sign that Father is going to give us, is what I'm trying to say. Only Father will allow all to witness this sign so that we may be in preparation for the gross uh, days of darkness ahead of us. Okay. Um, okay, so this phenomena was witnessed by all. I warned him and my daughter-in-law in the dream of the three days of darkness. Okay, now let's let's backtrack. I'm stating in this dream, I'm recounting this dream, and the sign, okay, of the three days of darkness to come are on display for all to see in the sky, and Father refers them to as the ribbons in the sky. Okay, he doesn't refer to them as the northern lights or or the um, aurora borealis. He specifically calls them to myself ribbons in the sky. Okay, now I warned my son and my daughter-in-law in the in the dream of the three days of darkness. Days could represent years. That's what I had written at the time. Um, I was unsure, to be quite honest with you, to be quite frank, because we prophesy in part. My son and I were rebuking the enemy confidently with authority. Okay. So in this dream alone, it is referring to darkness coming after having seen the ribbons in the sky. Okay, please pay close attention. After having seen the sign of the ribbons in the sky, darkness filled the earth and we stood. We were able to stand in that evil day. And we were rebuking the enemy confidently with authority. OK, this is why it's so very important that you pay attention to detail, because I'm trying to break it down for you as I'm given these uh, prophetic dreams and visions. And I just want to thank Heavenly Father for foretelling and, and letting us know what to be prepared for, what signs to watch out for. OK, now I'm going to go into this particular scripture here that depicts the nature of these of these locusts revelation chapter 9 and the fifth angel sounded and i saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth and to him was given the key to the bottomless pit and he opened the bottomless pit and there arose a smoke out of the pit as the smoke of a great furnace and the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth. Something was unleashed. Harp, CERN, NASA, they're all doing things to provoke, <clears throat> excuse me, to provoke these entities coming upon the earth. Okay, and there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth, and unto them was given power as the scorpions of the earth have power. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree. This is symbolic of father's children. We are trees. We are, we symbolize trees in the word. And then it goes on to confirm, but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads. It is crucial at this hour, and this is why Father's having me come forward and speak this, to declare and sound the trumpet, we must confess our sins. We must watch, be watchful for these signs, which the sign X marks the spot was absolutely given on April 8th, 2024. You want to meet that deadline of the 40 days. Nothing is new under the sun. The same thing was foretold with Jonah. This is the sign of Jonah, April 8th, 2024. And it concludes and it is fulfilled on March the 18th in two days, 2024. Let me read that verse again so that you clearly understand and so that you are encouraged and that you are able to stand in that evil day. Okay. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men 
which have not the seal of God in their foreheads. And to them it was given that they should not kill them, but that they should be tormented five months. And their torment was the torment of a scorpion when he striketh a man. Okay, so that's very important. Give me just one second. I pray that you are able to follow along. I'm trying to do it as obediently and as structurally sound for you to see in between the um, prophetic dreams and visions that I have received. Here is another one that you want to meditate on, please. Now, please understand that the other one prior to this that I read to you about the three days of darkness and the ribbons in the sky. OK, again, let me let me just state this again. The sign that will be given for the three days of darkness are the ribbons in the sky that all will see. All. Now, that was in May of 2019, May 26, to be specific, 2019, that I was given that dream. Fast forward to December 21st, 2019. Okay. Hold on just a second. June, July, August, September, October, November. November, about November, would be six months. Okay. Just so you're aware, for whatever reason, Father's having me count that down. Okay. So moving forward, December 21st, 2019, this is from my journal. I kept being shown the number 26. I am very familiar with this number because 26 is my code date. Your code date, if you are not aware, is Father had given me instruction of our code dates. That prophecy will be fulfilled when Father says it is fulfilled and he will give us more on it. Uh, right now, we are only um, been given, um, you know, this prophecy in part. OK, we prophesy in part. We never receive all of the scope of the picture in our dreams and visions. So please understand that I was given this code number to coach the body of Christ how to configure your code date. Your code date is reflective upon the month you were born. My month is February and the day you were born. I was born on the 6th. That's how we come up with your code date. OK, this is instruction that father has granted. This is your code date. It is a badge of honor. OK. 26 also means agape love. Without love, we are nothing. You must have love in your heart. You must have love in your heart. At this hour, it is crucial for me to convey once again. You want to. Repent. Forgive. To be forgiven, you must have love in your heart for your brothers and sisters. Okay, moving forward, December 21st, 2019. I dreamt I was asleep on a couch with Sirena, my, my granddaughter. Sirena means uh, mermaid, but it also means siren or alarm. Okay, before I fell asleep, I had taken her back to her bed. This is all happening within the dream. In the dream, I had woken up to seeing Sirena playing on an adjacent couch, yet something, excuse me, yet something was laying with me and I couldn't yell loud enough. Father was allowing me to feel this dream, to see this dream in its very darkness. It, it, it was very, very detailed. I still remember it very, very clearly. I was trying to yell to tell, yell for Sylvia, my daughter-in-law, to see what had cleaned itself to me and was holding me down. This thing was trying to hold me down. I felt paralyzed. This being, being was horrific. He looked part human and part locust. We've already gone over the locust and their appearance. I managed to pull him off of me by rebuking and expelling him in Holy Yeshaya's name. I grabbed my gun in the dream. And I cocked it. Sylvia heard me in the dream screaming, and I was able to see this creature. This creature went behind a car and said, one of the seals will open now. Men will be tortured 150 days or five months, equivalent to five months. In the dream, I told Sylvia not to worry, as only those who were not sealed would be tortured. I instructed her to cover the windows and try not to hear the gross darkness outside that 
we may hear of them torturing men. Okay. Now, this portion of to not worry as only those who were not sealed. Okay. This means this places us in prophecy present. We will be here because as written in Revelation chapter 9, verse 4, it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, excuse me, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads. Please pay attention to detail on that because Father is being very, very explicit with us uh, in detail there. This is just uh, re reestablishing Revelation chapter 9, verses uh, 1 through, that's actually 1 through 4 on here. Okay, so I'm going to leave you with this. Um, I didn't want the, the video to be long, but I do have to be very thorough. I have to sound the trumpet. I have to sound the trumpet for us to look for the signs because Father has been very gracious and he has already been showing us the signs of what's to come. He has been giving them to us. Uh, according to the Maseroth, if you have not taken to the Maseroth series, it's very important because Father has said that our redemption draweth nigh. We need to be looking up to see these signs because that's how he's communicating with us in this hour, besides the dreams, visions, the audible words. So we know that Harp has the ability to um, weaponize the weather. We know this. We've seen it time and time again. We've seen it with Maui. Father confirmed and told me specifically that Maui was Maui was under siege and they had weaponized their lasers to against Maui. OK, I'm going to leave that short there. Um, this is these are things that I have um, spoken from on my podium already. Um, Father is showing us these signs so that we can be prepared to be able to stand in that day. Our hearts need to be right. Please, please meet the deadline as judgment is coming. Judgment is coming and you want to make sure that you're just covering your bases. Pray over your families. Pray in intercessory over your families. If they won't pray for themselves, you are able to, to pray for them. But uh, please, I leave you on this. Please know that the whole thing with HARP <clears throat> they absolutely have a way um, to to do this. Uh, one of the things fathers have me bring up right now, and uh, I will share it in the comments. I actually shared this with my, my oldest son, uh, King Asherel, the other day. Uh, you need to be aware that father has told us that they would weaponize the weather. OK, in September of 2023, I believe it was September if I'm not mistaken, September 21st, 2023, um, and I'm going by memory here, uh, Father, had, um, Father had given me words, words as I slept, and I shared them with the body of Christ then. And Father had foretold then to warn us that the floods that were coming were not by his hand. If Father is saying that those floods that are coming in the future are not by his hand, what does that reveal to us? They are weaponizing the weather. They are inducing the ribbons in the sky. These things are happening. I pray that this word blesses you. I give Father Ahaya all of the glory. Please, if you have questions, please ask. Most importantly, again, just a stipulation. I do not usually ask you to share these videos for the sake of the body of Christ and those in slumber, if you are instructed or if you are led to share these warnings, please do so because it is not only a few that should be sounding the alarm. The entire body of Christ should be sounding the alarm as written in Ezekiel chapter 33. Do not have that blood on your hands. Sound the alarm. I love you all. Holy is Yeshaya. I give Father Ahaya all the glory. Amen.